What's going on, gamers? Here we are back with a bit more Diablo 2 Resurrected. And today I'm going to be going over how you guys and girls can make your own spirit shield. You're going to need a four slot shield, and you're going to want to make this as soon as you can if you're a caster, because it's an absolutely amazing item to have. But if you don't know what you're doing, you may well throw away the thing you need. So if you don't know how to make this, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox. Why not hit that subscribe and bell icon? I'll bring you all the latest and greatest in hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay of upcoming games. But for today I'm here to show you how to get your hands on this shield right here. Just one of the best rune words that you can create for a caster in my opinion. Such a good shield. And this is the Spirit Monarch Shield. Now as you can see, to create it is actually not that difficult. It's Tau, Fall, Alt and Arm meaning the arm's pretty much the only one that you might struggle with a little bit. However, if you're going to be creating a shield, you're probably going to be doing it later game anyway, so you're almost definitely going to have them runes. If not, you're probably going to have to farm a little bit of either Nightmare or a little bit of Hell in order to get yourself all of them. However, the main thing you're going to want to know is how to get the base. I found the best one to get was probably that one that I just showed you there, the Monarch Shield. There are a couple of others that I will chuck down the bottom as soon as I remember them, but in general that's the one you want to be aiming for, and you want to be aiming for the white variant. And this is the main thing, a lot of times when things are white or grey you're going to be chucking them away. So knowing that you do want to keep hold of them is definitely essential, as these are actually really rare to get. Now I found the best place was just jumping straight into hell so it is a late game activity and just making your way through the hordes of enemies because it tends to be the enemies that aren't the elites and such that drop this. It is all RNG so it is down to a bit of luck, however now that you know what to aim for it's something you'll definitely keep hold of when you do come across it. Anywhere where there's a lot of ads, so for example I found mine in Act 4 just gathering up absolutely loads of them. Probably Act 5 would be really nice as well if you went to the Highlands part or any other place where you can find a lot of ads grouped up together would definitely be a great place to try to farm this base. Another thing that you can try is weapon racks. Do not run past all of the weapon racks, tap on them whenever you can, see what drops off it, you may have a little bit of luck that way as well. So once you've found yourself the base item that you need, and I would highly recommend farming hell for these, just for the fact that then you're not going to get confused and not know where you've got the item from, they can roll a maximum amount of slots depending on the item level. If you're just farming hell, at least you'll know what you're going to be getting. So once you have the runes and once you have the base shield, you're going to bop all the way to Act 5 and you're going to do the Lazak quest. This one's nice and easy, you've just got to venture out, kill the enemies he's told you to kill, and then return to him. If you've done this on Normal or Nightmare, I would highly recommend saving the reward for something that you use it on much later, for example this right here. You can do this a maximum of one time per difficulty set, so you can quite easily come back and use it on something that's much better quality further down the line. So what you're going to do then, you're going to jump over to Lazuk, you're going to speak to him, and he's going to say what would you like to sock it. Because you've got the high level item, that white item right there is now able to be unlocked to four sockets. Basically, the white items will be able to unlock to their maximum potential as long as they're higher level, as can the greys if they're ethereal, I believe. He could also socket something else that you'd like, and they'll get a different amount of sockets, which I'll chuck on screen now. However, to make what we want now, we're going to chuck in exactly as we said earlier, in this exact order, Tau, Fool, Alt, and Am. And we're going to create exactly what we're after, quite a hard thing, quite a sought after shield, we finally created the Spirit Monarch shield. So hopefully that will help you a little bit out, it's got some absolutely amazing stats, so if we go over them it's got plus 2 to all skills, plus 30% faster cast rate, 55% faster hit recovery, 250 defense versus missiles, 22 vitality, 96 to mana, cold resist 35, lightning resist 35, and poison resist 35% plus 3 magic absorb and attacker takes damage of 14. All in all, just an amazing shield to have for any stage of the game. This will easily be something you can keep in hell. Make it while you can and definitely, definitely don't get rid of those monarchs or any 4 slot shield that you can create from those really nice white bits of gear or even if you found yourself a really nice already 4 socketed grey one. As always guys and girls, I hope that's helped a few of you out. For all things gaming, for all things Xbox. Take care. I'll see you on the next day.